Get your spine straight. Make sure your pelvis is nice and straight. Make sure your feet are adjusted so they're shoulder width. Put your hands straight down on that so they're relaxed. Now, here, just take a couple breaths. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a breath in through your nose and then you're going to drop your shoulders. Balance your head so you don't move your head forward or back. It should be neutral. Your hands are nice and rested. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a breath through your nostrils. Breathe in through your nose. You should make a little bit of noise. Let it out through your mouth. Now this time, think of the air as it passes through your nostrils. Your nose should feel very dry, a little cool. Exhale through your mouth. Purse your lips a little bit, kind of blow it up. Inhale through your nose. Now this time, really big feel of your eyes. Below your eyes might start feeling a little, you'll feel a sensation as the air passes through your nostrils, passes through your sinuses. Try not to move your head. You want to be as neutral. You want to use as many, as few muscles as possible. There you go. Make sure your shoulders drop with each breath. Now the next breath, feel the air as it passes through your nostrils. It passes through your sinuses below your eyes and hits the back of your head. Top of your ears and maybe parts of the outside of your ears might feel a little tingly because you're pushing air there and oxygen that hadn't been there very well because now you're really pushing a lot of oxygen throughout your body. Now with this breath, you'll feel through your nostrils, roll around through your sinuses, below your eyes, hit the back of your head. Now it's going to drop straight down the back, right through your spine. And it's going to fill up your stomach. Big inhale. Now it's going to fill your lungs, and your lungs are going to inflate like two balloons, two long torpedo balloons. It's going to fill up. And as they fill up, the tissue and the skin thins out in order to let the air oxygen pass through the lungs, through all the capillaries that are in the small alveoli in your lungs, and they're going to move out through your body. You're going to probably feel it behind your neck and along your back, in your upper back, really strong because that's where all those the lungs are kind of pushing out back against there. Take another breath, big nice breath through your lung, through your nose, and now this time. I want you to take your fingers, your two middle fingers, and lay them up against the bone of your, of your nose. And when you inhale, just spread the skin out. Not the bone, but spread the skin out. Big inhale through your nose. And spread it out as you're doing it. Now that'll push out, that'll open that, that passageway probably a good 20-30%. And once you do that, it should stay open a little bit. Not as much as it was when your fingers are there but it still stay open a, a pretty good amount. So if you ever have any sinus congestion or you just feel like you need a little bit more air, do that to your nostrils and they'll stay open for you. So now this time, as you take in your breath, you're gonna think about the air and envision it as a color. When I do it, I think of a, a candy, a cotton candy blue, but a light, frothy sort of, of cloud, uh, sort of, smoky sensation goes through your nostrils and it rolls around in your sinuses like smoke in a cave and you feel but also you see you envision the color of the air as it passes through your nostrils through your sinuses below your eyes hits behind your ears and then it drops straight down your spine and inflates your lungs like two long balloons and every time that you do that Oxygen is pushed out into your, into your body through your torso, along your shoulders, down into your arms. It goes down your stomach, down into your legs. You might feel a little bit of tingling in your fingers and toes. Make sure your shoulders are dropped. You shouldn't be using any muscles at all. It should be as few muscles as possible. Now that you've got that color, 
Now you're breathing in the color. Now get an herb. Whatever herb you feel like, it doesn't matter. You can use rosemary, you can use dill, pine, you could use fir, you could use sawdust. If sawdust is a smell and a fragrance and an aroma that really reminds you of something pleasant, your body will respond to that. So take the herb in your hands and rub it together and get the oils from that herb on the palms and then mingle it up with the warmth and the oils in your hand and it'll transfer the oils of that herb onto your hand. Keep the herbs in your hand. Now put your hands together and inhale through, the, through your palms and it's still colored. Whatever color you want, it doesn't matter what color the herb is because you're col you've colored the air already. Let it go through your body and down the back of your neck and into your lungs and expand it. Make sure your shoulders are nice and dropped. Now by this time, you should feel very relaxed. And this is the time when you can think, and this is the time when you think about the most pleasant place in the whole world. If you could sit somewhere right now, where would it be? And you smell the rosemary, you smell the herb, your body's relaxed, there are no sounds, it's just you in the most beautiful, comfortable place in the entire world, thinking about what you hear and what you smell and what you taste.